everyone in this video let us understand what needs to be done if tcs is not getting auto calculated in the transaction so the checks to be done are master level check so when tcs is not getting calculated in the transaction we need to check if the master selected in the transaction are configured for tcs so the first check is the party master and the second one is the sales ledger and the third one is the stock item so if any of these masters are used in the transaction we need to check if these masters are enabled for tcs so after master level check even after configuring in these masters if calculation is not happening we need to check for certain things at the transaction level so those are the accessible value so need to check if what value is appearing in accessible value field in tcs detail screen and the second one is to check for date of applicability of tcs and the date of voucher for example if tcs is made applicable from 1st october and if the voucher is recorded on 30th september obviously the calculation will not happen so these are the three simple things by checking which you can correct the calculation issue and i'm sure when these all are set right the calculation will happen automatically well, let us see this in tally so i have loaded my tally a company where i want to calculate tcs in sales voucher i go to accounting voucher and go to sales so here i select for the bank ledger so this is my cash sales so i select the bank ledger here and after this i select my stock item i give the quantity and here we assume that the threshold limit is already crossed so this transaction is for 5 lakhs and i want to calculate tcs on this 5 lakhs amount so now i select my tcs ledger but the calculation does not happen so in this case so let us apply what we have learned so first thing we will do check of the masters used so here two masters used are one is my stock item another one is my sales ledger so let us see if these masters are configured for tcs so i go to accounts info ledgers alter i select sales so here is tcs applicable is made not applicable so i set this to applicable and i select the nature of goods so next i'll go to my item master and check if item is enabled for tcs so i make as tcs applicable to applicable and select the nature of goods so now i go to the transaction i press f8 i select my bank ledger i select the item i give the quantity and rate so the accessible value is also appearing here so now i select my tcs duty ledger and select the party from whom tcs is collected but still the calculation is not happening okay so at transaction level we are left out with one more check that is checking the voucher date and the date at which tcs is made applicable so my voucher date is 1st april but when i have created my tcs nature of goods i have set the applicable date as 1st october to so to check that i went to tcs nature of goods screen and here i press alt l and c so the date is 1st october right so only when transaction is recorded after 1st october the value will get calculated so i go to accounting vouchers sales voucher i change the to date to any date after 1st october and i select my bank ledger i select my stock item quantity i give the rate and amount so now when i select my tcs ledger and i select the party from whom tcs is collected the calculation happens so 
So these are the few simple things which we have corrected. Then the calculation will happen in the sales or receipt transaction. So hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching this video.